Yes, everyone has been asking me to test yes. these two pans. And uh -huh. let me tell you, if you are a fan of the show Iron Chef, mm -hmm. you are really going to like tonight's edition. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> The time has come once again to answer life's most savory question. Which pan reigns supreme? This is Try Before You Buy It, Iron Chef, Copper Pan Edition. Hi, Kathy Mitchell here with my, my Chef Daniel Green here with Gotham Steel. These similar pans with nearly identical infomercials will face off in today's kitchen battle. I will test the red pan, and Margaret White, caterer and chef extraordinaire, will take the Gotham pan. Let the challenge begin. Just like in the infomercial, we beat eggs with metal forks and mixers directly in the pan. And in the end... No scratches, but I have... Did you use this already on this one? Mm -hmm. That one is definitely scratched. No, Only one pan is victorious. So in our first challenge of pan versus pan, it's Gotham pan for the win. Challenge two. Cooking eggs with no butter, oil, or sprays. Oh, oh, it's stuck. The red pan, once again, is the weakest link. But... Gotham? It quite well. The egg came out beautifully. Gotham won again. Gotham! Gotham for the second win! Challenge three, flambe. So now it's time for the flambe test. We're actually going to flambe some bananas. This too was demonstrated on the infomercials, but here's our culinary curveball. I've never flambeed before. <laughs> and it shows. However, you can set fire to the Gotham pan, no problem. But how will the there red pan fare? Yeah. Okay, As you can we'll see, it's finally a win for the red pan. Ah, well, it's really on fire. And we really put it to the test. It's a victory for both. Challenge four, baking. We make a s'mores dip just like in the infomercial. Chocolate chips, condensed milk, and marshmallows. Place it in the oven, and in the end, both look amazing. But the dismount? Ooh. Nothing like the infomercial. Well, the chocolate is stuck to the dismount. bottom of the red pan, it's really a fail for both, but there is a silver lining. I mean, it tastes good. Looking at the scoreboard, there is a clear winner, the Gotham pan. But wait, there's more. Yes, the infomercials say these pans are so strong, you can run over them with a car. So, three, two, one, let's do this. Did it work? <laughs> well, I'll be darned. But we did scrape off some of the coffers. Finally, the red pan did something well, just like the infomercial. But it wasn't enough to claim victory. And the winner is... Gotham Pad. All right, I bought the... <laughs> I know, I'm ridiculous. <laughs> okay, we bought the pants on Amazon. They were 20 bucks a piece. You can buy them at Target, Bed Bath & mm -hmm. Beyond, too, if you really want to. And you'll be flambeing again very soon, I'm sure. <gasps> I now feel that I can, yeah. but and, I probably won't. <laughs> and thanks to James, our in-house yes. ringer for that. Yeah, that was yes, great. Yes, he was quite the addition. So uh, there you go. There's the okay. copper pants for know. you. Yes, yeah. and if you want to ask me more about cooking or other things, you can at the 8 on your side Black Party, because that's where I will be on September 20th. <laughs> First, where you can get all sorts of consumer help. Hey, we're going to have a DJ there. We're going to have face painting, all sorts of fun. If you want to complain about your HOA, you can file a complaint there. We're going to be microchipping pets there. We're going to be yep. doing VIN etching. We're going to be helping you with so much. You can talk to the Attorney General. It's going to be a great time. Wow. So I hope everyone shows up over at Town nice. Square Saturday, 11 to 2. And we've had so many requests for this thing. And you know, as a woman with long hair, with a four year old daughter with long hair, and a baby who I hope will have hair one day soon. <laughs> I was pretty excited to test this out. Let's see how it does in my shower. Well, I never thought in a million years I'd be inviting all of you into my bathroom, but it was the perfect spot to test out the drain wig. If you've ever had to clean out your clogged shower drain, then you know how gross and disgusting that glob of wet hair can be. Well, never again. The solution is finally here. Introducing drain wig. The instructions are pretty easy to use. You just insert the chain through the drain and leave it there and then replace it every two to four months. We can do that. According to the infomercial, the drain wig will catch the hair as it goes down the drain, and you'll never have a clog again. All we need to do is head to the shower. I feel like there should be psycho music playing. All right, we just drop it down the drain, like so. Goes down pretty easily. And there you go. 
So now I'll shower without you here, of course, and then we'll come back in a few months. And four months later, well, we're back in my bathroom because it's time to check the drain wig. It's been a few months and we need to see if this thing has actually worked. Are you ready for this? Let's go in the shower. I'm a little nervous about this, but it's, uh, it's time to pull out this thing. Oh, 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 we forgot the trash can. Yuck, that's what you're supposed to do. Ew, throw it in the trash. It did its job. No one is going to clean that sucker. That's why I don't even know where the other one is. Ew, I can't touch my face. That's why they give you two. Ew, but there you go. We tried it before you buy it. It works. It's just gross. We, we had to color bar my khaki. Okay, so I bought the drain wig at Bed Bath & Beyond for 10 bucks. You can buy four for a little bit more though, and that will cover you all year long. I think I'm gonna do it yeah. forever. Yeah, we yes, and this is the Amazon Echo, although she actually goes by the name Alexa. Mm -hmm. And this week I gave her a whirl with the help of Amazon superfan ventriloquist Terry Fader. <laughs> Well, Terry and Winston, thank you so much for having me here in your dressing room here at the Mirage. It's very nice for you to have me here. Thank you for coming. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Michelle. It's very nice to meet you, too. And thank you guys for helping me test out the Amazon Echo Alexa today. Okay, what is it now, Michelle? What are we looking at? It's a, it's a giant Bluetooth speaker that we can talk to and play games with. Do you like to play games? Um, yeah, depending on what game it is. There are lots to choose from. But we picked Jeopardy. Ooh, that was fancy. The album Rumors is by this group. Fleetwood Mac. No, the correct response was, what is Fleetwood Mac? Oh! Alexa, you're one tough Trebek. Game show hosting isn't her only skill, though. You want to see her do impressions? Yeah, I want to. I want to do impressions. Okay, because you do impressions, don't you, Winston? I, I do. Hi, ho, Kermit the Frog here. Oh, yes, that was very impressive. I love Kermit. Hey, Alexa, do an impression of Kermit the Frog. Hmm. I can't find the answer to the question I heard. Hmm. Let's trade That's it. That's because I didn't ask a question, dummy. <laughs> Alexa, open animal sounds. Ah, you have opened one of my hidden talents. Ooh. What oh. animal would you like me to impersonate? Frog? Turns out Alexa only responds to specific commands, Turn. but even with the right turn of phrase, she can surprise you, like when she tried to impersonate a fox. Uh, I can do an impersonation of a fox. Hello, I'm Kim Kardashian. <laughs> uh, can you, like, order stuff uh, from Amazon using uh, Alexa? Alexa. <laughs> Can I order a Garth Brooks tribute album? I added Garth Brooks tribute album to your shopping list. Uh, Why Garth Brooks? Alexa. Winston is a huge fan. Blame it all on the roots. I showed up in boots. And she's still talking. Alexa didn't like being upstaged. Alexa, shut up. But Ale these two found some common ground. My love has come along. That was very good. Play Etta James at last. It's a miracle. It works. Yeah, and if you don't have the turtle that can do that, just ask Alexa. I know, and it's gonna feel like you're singing right now. I know. I know. How do you know it's not me? <gasps> I don't. I'm throwing my voice. Watch this. <laughs> At last. That's good. That's good right there. <laughs> my love has come along. Very good. All right, I don't want to wear you out there. All right, Alexa, stop. <laughs> Alexa, stop. She's not very obedient. Alexa, stop. <laughs> No, it's almost like my it's, children. It's, <laughs> Despite all the fun we poked, Alexa really did impress. I order stuff from Amazon all the time, yeah. so I think this would be really handy. I'm, I'm going to get one. 
All right, so the Amazon Echo is just 179 and if you do want to see the whole time with Terry, we're going to have that uploaded oh, on our great. website in just nice. a few minutes. And uh, I think you'll like this, Ted. Um, Alexa, what, Alexa, what is the weather in Las Vegas right now? <laughs> Currently in Las Vegas, Nevada, it's 65 degrees with clear skies. It's night. You can look for mostly clear skies and a low of 43 degrees. <laughs> was that good, Ted? Was she right How's on? How's it feel to be absolute? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to buy Alexa until now. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I'm getting out of here before. Yeah, yeah, my Alexa. job does <laughs> She does the news, job. too, you guys. No, no, she does no, the news. No. She does okay. it all. Just great. <laughs> Thanks, but Michelle. That was fun. Can she show viewer pictures? No. No. Introducing the Mighty Blaster Fireman's Nozzle. The Mighty Blaster Fireman's Nozzle must put off quite a blast of water, like a fireman's hose, hence the name. So today we're at the Henderson Firefighting Training Center with actual firefighters to see if this one lives up to the hype. And there's no better way to do this than to test it right next to a actual fireman's nozzle, right Dan? And that is one right that there. That is one right there. That's Dan Pinkowski, president of the Henderson Firefighters Association. He drew the short straw and gets to test this one out with me today. Do they look even comparable? That is a little bigger. It's a wee smaller. Wee smaller yeah. is putting it a wee lightly. There's Absolutely. no comparison really. But what is it they say? Side. Size we'll doesn't matter. Compare. It's all about the power it packs. So let's pretend it's 1990 to see who has the power. I've got the power! Here's the power of a real fireman's nozzle. And here's the mighty blaster. All right, what do you, what do you, what, what, well? It's giving it all it's got. <laughs> and all it's got is not much compared to the real thing. But heck, no one really needs the power of a real fireman's nozzle at home, for household chores at least. So let's snap this test into some real world trials. Easily blast away even the hardest caked on mud. There's not a lot of caked on mud here at the fire training center, but these bleachers could use a good wash. That's good. Well, that's a good pattern right there. Looks like we're definitely cleaning some stuff off. So the hose and nozzle can wash away dirt. Okay, but can it do this? Mighty Blaster packs a punch, easily plowing through this line of stones. No large stones at the training center, but they've go. got these orange cones. Surely it can push those, right? Coming up a little short on cone knocking over, but it's a pretty broad base to these cones. Once we get about three feet away. Three feet away. <laughs> Success. Was it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, of course, the firefighter likes it. And really, as far as garden hose nozzles go, it's not bad. And it's far better than a hose without a nozzle. It just doesn't pack the power that the infomercial claims. You want one, don't you? <laughs> The Mighty Blaster is just 15 bucks online and it's also sold at many retail stores. Now, next week, I'll be back at the Fire Training Center where we'll be starting some fires and testing out products that claim to put them out. Remember, if you have something you want me to try before you buy, send me a note on Facebook so you waste my money instead of yours. I'm Michelle Mortensen.